Hey, you're welcome again. So, continuing with Express, right? So, as we have seen, uh, basically, if uh, we go back and we see in our app.js, we've already seen uh, how the get method works, right? And how can you basically uh, route between uh, profile page, feed page, and all of that, right? So, basically, now what we need to see is we need to see these methods a little deeply, right? So, what we'll do, do right now is I'll just create one new file over here. I'll say get and post. .js. And inside this file, what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at how get method and post method works. And then we'll also be looking at a tool that is basically Postman, right? So Postman is basically a tool that is used for API testing. We'll be downloading that and we'll be basically testing all our API and all our methods in that particular application, right? So this video is going to be fun. All right, so let's move ahead. So let me just create uh, just server first and let's just talk about the get request first, right? So basically what I will do, I'll just say const express equal to require express. Right, and then we'll move ahead and then we'll uh, basically, let's set up a port. So what I will say is first I'll have to say const app equal to express. We are calling this express. Right, we have to do this as we have done this earlier as well. Right, so basically, uh, make this particular method work. Right, and then what we can do is we can basically uh, assign a port. So let me just say const port equal to 8000. Right, so basically, uh, we have called the method, we have set up the port, and now let's just move ahead and see what we can do. So, first things first, we have to again call the listen method so that we can make our port work. So we'll just say app.listen and inside this listen, we will just pass our port, right? And we'll just basically invoke a function and we will say console.log, server is running on the port. Let me use the back ticks. Oops, just a second, yeah. Server is running on, basically, let's pass the port, right? So this is how we have basically created our get and post uh, .js file and now let's just run this. So I'll just say known one, get and post on JS. let's run it. Okay, so we, the app has crashed. Why? Address already in uh, use, all right, so maybe, Okay, so it was actually uh, running on another port, uh, another basically terminal, right? So I just closed that and now let's just uh, run this again. So I'll just clear it and I'll run this again. So now our server is running uh, in port 8000, right? So let's just open uh, the browser and let's just see what it returns to us right now. So basically uh, we are here. I'm just hitting this uh, localhost 8000 right now and here it is showing that cannot get slash so basically we have not put anything in the get request as of now so it's not returning us anything right so let's go back and let's see how the get request works we have basically discussed the get request but uh, just so that we know the differences between get and post i'm discussing it a little uh, again right so if you're familiar with get request you can totally skip this video right and you can move on to the next video which is basically the post request all right, so let's move ahead and let's see. So basically what we have to do is, I will be just creating one endpoint and that will be uh, fetching the, uh, me the data that will be returning me the response of some movies, right? So I'll be sending a JSON data inside my uh, response object and then we'll be getting that data as a response, right? So let's uh, do that. So what I will do is I'll just say get app.get. Uh, so basically, now let's talk about the get request. So the get request is basically whenever you have a backend service, whenever you have something at the, at the server side and you want to get some data from there, right? You want to just get some data from there, uh, basically to retrieve a data from a database or to get some data from the backend. What you do is you just say that this is basically your get request. So get request is an HTTP method which will help you to get some data from wherever your database or your server is. Right. So basically, let's just do this. So first of all, uh, first of all, what it will take, it will take a function and response request object and basically the route, basically the route in which that data is. 
right? So first thing is the route. So basically, I'll just say slash and I'll name this as movies, right? So this is uh, the end point where if I hit right from this particular port, I should get the data. I should get the movie data returned to me, right? And then basically what we have, we have a request and response. So let's just say request and response. Correct. And I said that these are the objects and then this will be a callback function. So this is how basically the syntax goes, right? And now what I will do is I'll just send one response. So I'll just say response.send. So basically request is when your client side is making a request to the server and your response is basically when your server side is responding back with some data to your client side, right? So that's it. So now what I will do is I'll just say response.send and inside this send, what I will do, I'll just pass some JSON data, right? So this is an array and inside this array, I'll just pass one and two objects. Uh, okay, so let's just do ID. We'll just pass ID and we'll just pass name. So let's just pass name as diehard maybe. Uh, let's just copy this object. So let's remove this. And here I've copied this. Let me just format it once. And ID will be two. Let's change the name of this movie to Transformers. And uh, let's change this ID to three. And let's change this movie to uh, Terminator. Let's say like that, right? So basically, we have this particular route, and whenever we will be hitting this route, we'll be getting this data as our response, right? So let's just go and let's just try that. That if we are able to use this get method, if this get method is now working or not. So let's go back. So this is basically our port, and what we need to hit, we need to hit the movies route, right? So let's hit this, and now you see that we have been returned with the response. We have a response over here which is an array and it has basically all the data that we wanted from it, that we wanted to send, right? that we wanted to retrieve. Right? So this is how basically what you can do is you can create a get request, right? You can uh, use the get method, right? So in the next video, we'll be talking about post method and what is actually post method. We'll be using postman to test our post method and basically post method is usually to create an entry, right? So if you see that, this is an entry which is already we are sending as a response. But what if you want to create an entry here, right? What if you want to post something, right? Post itself says that we are posting something, we are creating something, right? So post method will be uh, will be using post method to do that, right? So in the next video, we'll be looking at post method. We'll, uh, we'll be looking at uh, how to test your APIs, how, uh, how you can test post method, how you can test, test uh, get method and all of that stuff. Right. So see you in the next video. If you like this video, uh, do give us a, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and uh, see you on next video. Bye. -bye.